Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Starting off week three of Trans Swagger. Our topic this week is body dysphoria and how you deal with it. Um, I pretty much have body dysphoria all the time. Um, I try not to think about my body or look at it too much. Um, it's kind of upsets me. Uh, but I guess I'm trying to like think about it more or look at it more. Um, but the main thing I have dysphoria over is my chest. Definitely. I have a very large chest. I feel like it's just always in my way. Um, and I pretty much just hate my chest. Um, I'm also very short. Um, I'm just generally really curvy and round. Um, so I guess I'm pretty self-conscious about all of those things. I always thought that as I got older, I would somehow become really happy with my body. Um, but what has happened instead is that I feel like as time goes on my body just really just intensifies. Um, so a while ago my friend sent me a link to an auto straddle article that a lot of you have probably read um, and it's about uh, different things that the person that wrote it does to cope with their dysphoria. Um, so I made a list too of what I do um, when I'm feeling bad about my dysphoria. There's only a couple of things on it, um, but one thing I like to do is lift weights, because I feel really buff, and I always try to show off my muscles to my friends. I don't think they're actually that big, but I got pretty gnarly forearm muscles, though, from massaging, which is really nice. Um, I think they're pretty gnarly, but, um, uh, another thing that I've started doing is buying presents for myself, um, because that makes me happy. I got a really awesome new wallet recently. It's really cool. Let me show you. I keep losing my wallets for some reason, but this one's really cool. It's got a little fox on it. And then on the back, they engraved my name. I'm really excited about this wallet. <laughs> um, yeah, so buying presents for myself. Um, another thing on my list is making learning a new recipe, uh, which I don't really do that often, because my roommates and friends are really good cooks, so I usually just eat their food. Um, another thing that I've been trying to do that's on my list is positive affirmations, because I feel like it's really easy to just get like stuck in having negative thoughts, so I try to like tell myself positive things about myself and make positive affirmations, um, and going along with that is... Uh, one of my friends told me a good thing to do would be to make a list of the things that I've done that I'm proud of and things I love about myself, so that's like another thing I do. Think about that. Um, one of the biggest things on my list that I do is reading uh, gender theory, queer theory stuff. Um, it's really empowering to me. So I usually do that. Um, and uh, one thing that I'm really happy about with my body that I really like is my leg hair and my armpit hair. So I feel like I admire that when I'm feeling not happy with my body. I feel like it's like the one active thing that I can do to my body is like decide not to shave. Um, I have pretty gnarly armpit hair. Y'all should see. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. It's awesome. Camera's not capturing its whole bushy wonderfulness, but um, anyway. So yeah, that's I guess that's how I handle my dysphoria. Um, another thing that uh, I guess has changed with how I understand body dysphoria is I think my attitude has changed. I feel like it's really easy, like when especially like when you're like when my body dysphoria is feeling particularly intense to just like. <laughs> feel, you know, you feel like trapped in your body, and I do, um, but, um, one thing that has been really helpful with that is realizing that I don't have to have this body, I guess, like, I can, you know, make changes to it, um, and so, you know, I like to, like, fantasize kind of about, like, how I will look, um, I don't know, a couple years from now or something when I, you know, make 
changes to the things I don't like. Um, I think I felt like I couldn't make changes to my body because I felt like, um, you know, like I had thought about top surgery and such. Um, I felt like that wasn't something that I can like look into or other kinds of changes because I felt like I had to like choose between two parts of a binary. Like I either had to like, okay, I'm a woman, I have to do that, or I have to like go to the other extreme. And I never felt like I was I'm been in either extreme. Um, but now I realize that I can just not choose and just be anywhere in between that I want. Um, and so. You know, I'm excited about um, you know, exploring other ways of changing my body, specifically top surgery. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's everything I have to say uh, for the week. Um, thanks for listening.